Naruto versus Ichigo, who would win? Ah, the classic anime showdown debate, one that sparks as much passion as a Marvel versus DC squabble among comic fans. So we have Naruto Uzumaki, the boisterous ninja with the heart of gold and a demon fox living in his belly, against Ichigo Kurosaki, the brooding, soul-reaping teenager with enough spiritual pressure to shatter worlds. Who comes out on top? First things first, comparing different universes is like saying, who would win, a shark or a lion? It's all about the terrain, baby. You put them in the ocean and the shark feasts. You put them in the savanna and it's cat night. Now, Naruto and Ichigo are fighting in hypothetical land, a neutral battleground where fan theories and power levels collide. Naruto's got a hell of a resume. He's a master of a zillion jutsus, can summon a giant toad, and even befriend an entity that was once hell-bent on turning him into a human shish kebab. Let's not forget the sage mode, which makes him wiser and stronger than your average beer-bellied sage. And of course, there's the famous Rasengan, a whirling ball of chakra that blasts through anything like a hot knife through butter. Then there's Ichigo. I mean, the guy's got layers, like some kind of metaphysical onion. He's a soul reaper, a hollow, a full bringer, a Quincy, and who knows what else is tucked up in those genes. He can move at breakneck speeds with flash step, cut through mountains with his Zanpakuto, and when he gets serious, he unleashes the Bankai. That's basically Ichigo saying, now I'm really mad and everything's about to explode. But who would win? If you ask me, it's about endurance. Naruto, in his six-path sage mode coupled with the power of the Nine Tails, has a reservoir of energy that looks like it's been siphoned off a star. He can heal, create absurd numbers of clones, and essentially run a one-man ninja rave for days on end. Ichigo's no slouch, though. When he unleashes his final form, he's more than just a force of nature. He's the whole darn textbook. That being said, his ultimate gets-ups tend to have time limits, use-it-and-lose-it deals that need careful timing. So let's cut to the chase. In a prolonged battle, I've got my money on Naruto. He's the Energizer Bunny of Shinobi World. He just keeps going and going. Ichigo might have the sheer force, but Naruto's got the stamina and the strategic mind to outlast him. Don't get me wrong, battles like these leave plenty of room for debate, and there's nothing quite like stirring the pot and watching folks dish about their favorite anime heroes. And hey, I'm Scott from Portland, not exactly the almighty sage of six paths. But you wanted my two cents? There you have it. Hey, what do you folks think? Sound off in the comments and let's get this showdown started. But remember, at the end of the day, it's all in good fun. Both Naruto and Ichigo have taught us that the real win is in the friends and the journey along the way.